all right get in here this is a message for you if you're seeing this message that because this message is for you guys so let's go ahead and take a look at you and see what you need to know all right guys you know nothing in the universe is by coincidence baby all right so let's get into your message these are general messages so please only take what is for you simply leave what is not yours all right i'll be reading all the signs and energies that i see here for you guys if you don't know already I am your shaman empress, a.k.a. the shaman hummingbird here, baby, okay, for you. Make sure you're also subscribed to your areas, only placements, love, tarot, anywhere areas is in your chart, you or your person, all right, any karmic energies, attachments, your messages are ready for you over there, okay, if you need help with any sign placements in your charts, all right, cafeastrology.com will always be linked down below for you, okay. All right, let's see what is going on, guys. Whatever's happening here can be happening physical and or spiritual. All right, for some of you guys, it's going to be both. Okay. All right, I'm sorry, guys. I was just listening to something. <laughs> they were telling me. Let's see what's going on. This message is for you. The messages, all my beautiful universe and Holy Spirit's messages for the collective, please. Thank you. What do you need to know? Oh, my the universe. Oh, thank you. The higher fun. This is a very spiritual person that you're connecting to for some of you guys. But this person definitely wants a relationship. This is also somebody here that is trying to uh, start their own business. Yep, the Ten of Coins. This person comes from a spiritual family. This is also someone here that comes from like a spiritual bloodline or something like that. Like if this is a pastor's son, obviously their dad's a pastor, but the dad's dad, their granddad, great grandpa could have been a pastor. This person lives very like either religious or spiritual um, traditions. Okay, is what you also you need to know here. Yep, the two of ones. This is somebody here um is making decisions about you and them. But this pro this person's problem. Okay, like for example, if this person is Muslim, then they will come from a um religious background. You could be um you know Christian and come from a spiritual background that's just me using excuses and um you know it's like would this work if they decide to come towards you the difference would it work you could be spiritual okay and they could be traditional they could be um let's just let you know you guys can have like different spiritual beliefs okay um you know as far as like the muslim go they go about the the Quran um they also don't you know eat pork like they you know there's differences when it comes to different religious customs you guys have different religious customs and this is somebody here that has a family um their family's the same way their family could have um very strict they can even be you know anything Jewish it doesn't really matter um on you know them marrying someone that has the same belief up four swords so they've been reflecting a lot about that with you and i'm like wondering like is that would that work is that something that you guys could work out y'all come from different backgrounds they could be um more on the religious end you could be more on the spiritual end as well you know take it how it resonates yep but they they like you ace of cups actually love you yep two of swords but love is part of the recipe so this is somebody that's going back and forth libra and energy if you know if this would work yes i love you yes you love me i'm hearing jasmine sullivan um lions tigers and bears just because you love me and I love you doesn't mean we're going to be. So this is somebody that's trying to wonder if it's going to work out. If you guys are going to um, be able to have a relationship. Yes. The only thing that is your confirmation, Capricorn energy. To source areas, water benders are in a building. Cancerian, Piscean, and Scorpion. Let's see here. Yep, the Knight of Coins. So this is somebody here. Um, it's, it's, so they're moving slow. Someone here is moving slow on purpose. They're like dragging their feet. And what they're doing is like analyzing. They could be watching you um, when you're not like paying attention. But they want to make sure this works because they feel like they could be going out on a limb or going against family beliefs. 
to be in this relationship with you. So, yep, because they love you. But it got to work. It, it, it got to work. This has to work. Oh, two cards popped out for you. Yep, the three of cups and the lover's card. Now, for some of you guys, you have um, favor. Wh whoever's resonating with this part from like a family member. Yeah, you do. The Ten of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. There could be a family member that supports this or supports this idea. So if this person's religious and you're more spiritual, someone in the family, they could have like a close cousin or something that they love or some shit like that, that supports that. Like, oh, okay, they're spiritual. Okay, or okay, this person's religious. If you are already spiritual and this is someone that's religious, oh, this is someone that's religious. Well, okay, I think that could still work. I mean, have you, yeah... Um, thought about a lot of it for swords. Now, for some of you guys, ten of swords. Okay, this is going 50 and 50. There is times, um, we got the two of swords and the two of wands. It's, it's like at times, this is some, somebody here second guessing this. It's like, I think this could work. And then when you get your feet wet, get your feet dirty, um, and it starts to come towards like certain holidays. I'm here in Ramadan. Is that how you say it, guys? Excuse me. And I'm apologies if I pronounce that wrong. But I believe that's how you say that. Like certain holidays come around, you know. Um, there's I, I, I heard Lenten. Okay, someone here does Lenten, certain cleansings. Like it, it could, it could, it could clash. And that's why somebody here is moving slow because they're trying to figure out the whole thing, the whole picture. Um, they're comparing holidays, times of years. Um, that you guys would do certain to get certain things together with the different accustomed backgrounds is what I'm getting. Yeah, spiritually. Two of Swords and Six of Swords. And someone here is definitely letting spirit lead them. I believe this is a spiritual person. But see, the thing is, you turn this person on, it's like, damn, but I want you. I want this. Yep, and this is somebody that's Five of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, and the Five of Wands. Now, if, now this is the thing. So there is a family member. There's a cousin here that don't like you, but there could be like family here that is questioning this. Like, okay, well, you know, you know, they don't celebrate Christmas or, um, you know, they don't believe in holidays. Some say it's pagan holidays. You know what I'm saying? So it's basically, you know, you got to take it how it resonates with you and for you. Scorpion, Libra, and Cancerian energy is here. Geminian energy is here as well. But this is somebody that um, is, they're, what they're doing is making a decision. Okay, is what you need to know in this reading. They are making a decision. And you need to also understand that this decision is also, this person considers their family because they have values with their family, the way they grew up, what they know to be tradition, like religious or spiritual. And it's like it's important to them and it's important for somebody to um, also fit in with their family. So if it works out, if you come together, if they come towards you, okay, because they're very passionate about you now with the Knight of Wands, would you guys make good decisions together? Well, how would you guys work like certain things out? Because someone here could be like, oh, you know, well... Well, me and you together, I still let you do certain things. But when we have a, a child, okay, you know, my kid ain't eating no pork. Or my child ain't celebrating no damn Christmas. Or, you know, or something like that. Okay. Um, so we definitely have a 2-2 two, two, and we have 1-1. One, one. Let's take a look at this. All right, guys. 858 is also... Um, on the timer, so make sure that you guys look that up as well. So we got angel number 2211. This is the mother of all messenger numbers. And when it appears, you want to take note. It paves the way for rapid changes. Somebody here, I'm telling you, this is... Somebody here will have to make like a very big rapid decision and a rapid change to have a relationship um, with you. And um, this person is definitely... Wait, these two cards shouldn't even be here. Hold up. 
Yup, the page of swords and the three of pentacles. And people are watching and paying attention um, could also be put in. You have to be careful because this person is getting like good in bad vibes about you. It's like they got a cool cousin, somebody that could be like around the same age, um, that grew up around the same time era as them, that see things different than the family overall might see things. Because you're getting somebody uh, that is, uh, but you guys are opposite on your beliefs. Okay, and which is crazy because in actuality, it's all the same. I hate I hate getting into shit like this. You know, we all know the Bible contains, you know, uh, some say 54, some say 66 books. Now, it, now, what's sad and how you want to tell the story is up to you. But you really can't have one without the other. That's the truth. And the truth is, God is in every religion. You will find God. I don't understand what is so hard for people to understand that. Um, God is a spirit. You connect with the Holy Spirit. It's a system. Don't get tricked out your spot. Okay. All right. Let's see what's going on, honey. Ooh. Ooh. Wait a minute. Oh, that's too many. Okay, y'all. Let me try to cut it down a little bit. Um, What's the two of ones? What's the decisions being here? Now, for some of you guys, I don't think you and family is going to get along. There could even be like a, a little energy here where you guys kind of like cut down, stop talking. What's the two of ones? What's it? Ooh. There's a lot. What's the two of ones? Mm. Yep, the Knight of Pentacles. Yep, it's y'all might slow down. It's like, all right, let me slow down. Let me think Knight of Swords. And you could be on some, okay, well, while you slow down and thinking, I'm going to continue being me, and I'm just going to end up having to move on. Yep, because I can't, they're already second guessing. Somebody here is going to have to follow their spirit. Yep, two of cups. And do what they feel. Oh, my gosh. I should have known um, D was going to come out in his reading. <laughs> we was just um, busting it up about something. Well, anyway, um, this is, um, child, this just blew my fucking mind. So this makes sense. So there was a message coming out. This is the thing. Yep, King of Pentacles. Um, somebody here wants to make you an offer, but they have to make a decision. This has nothing to do with you. And it's like, you might feel like either you're going to sit around and wait for this person to make a decision or not. And it's like, I'm not going to allow you to let your family make a decision for you and let me, or something like that. What's the two of swords? But they want this connection. What's the two of swords? They have feelings for you. And for some, this is a, um, somebody new. All right. A new, this new person, this new connection coming in your life. What's the two of swords? What's this? Yep. That's the truth. The ace of swords. Yeah. And this person is going back and forth with something they already know to be true. See, five of pentacles and the joker. This is the problem. Somebody here goes back and forth. They already know they want you. They already know they want to be with you. But they are being controlled by family. Yep, here it is. I can't make it up the ten of cups. The, you know, their family means a lot to them and shit like that. Yep, the joker card. And it's like controlling their move. In the story, when they do that, I know I have reached the end on that particular deck. What's the Ten of Swords? So this is why this person has been reflecting a lot or something. What's the Ten of Swords? Yup, the devil in reverse. Oh, shit. This is in the higher front in reverse. I, it's too toxic. For some of you guys, it's like this is too much. It's, this is too toxic. You could be calling people out. It's like, you know, um, for them to be calling you out. This is not like someone that is acting or a family that would act God-like but put on a, a, a front, a show. It's like, that's not Christian-like or, well, that's not what real true healers do or act like. I'm not going to do this. I'm going to get away from this toxicity. And when you made that move or decision or something like that, or when you decided to, like, get away from this toxic ass, whatever the hell this is, um, that's when this person realized that they were willing to, like, stand. It proves something to them. 
it proves something to them. It also could have proved that, you know, they don't have nothing to fear when it comes to your beliefs or being scared or there's no nothing to be toxic. This is, they, feel, they felt safe. Yep, they did. They felt safe. But even though they, it proved that to them, you still moved on. Yep, you did. Yep, the hermit. Yep, yeah. So you could have ghosted them or something. Or you just left this situation alone. Now, also something I'm getting. Um, this is also um, somebody here that could have just like, um, I don't know. They could have thought you were like, they could have just said, I'm just going to move away from this. I'm, I'm dragging. It's like they slowed it down to nothing to make extra clear it's i don't know if they were testing you testing the situation just to make sure like you weren't dark and you're not they found that out yep they're in their feelings the king and the queen of cups is here <laughs> yep they are what's what they've been reflecting on what they've been reflecting on oh the five of pentacles yep and the ten of cups yeah, how they left you out in the cold to please, like, other people or some shit like that. Yeah, this person's depressed. Now, this is a new person or a new cycle coming in. For a lot of you guys, it's a new person. This is what seems like what's happening. Hold on. Let me pick these cards up. Just how they uh, flew out. We got the Eight of Cups in reverse. The Empress fruit flew out in reverse. And the Two of Pentacles in reverse. This person don't want to juggle you no more. It's like they know what they know. You proved it to them. So, they had facts. You might not have been able to prove it to everybody yet, but they feel like maybe you shouldn't. You prove what you needed to prove to them, and they're going to be safe. Their family is going to have to take their decision on how they want to move forward with you because you are this person's wish fulfillment. Hold on. Hold on. We got one more card out here, child. Will these cards be flying, child? The page of ones in reverse. Yeah. So this is someone. Excuse me, guys. I don't know where I came from. So this is somebody here that um they want to come back. Yep, they do. Yeah, they do. You are you are fried, seared in this person's brain. What's the Ten of Pentacles? Show me the two. Hold on. We got to get a whole different. Yep, here they come. They want to have a conversation. I want to see the family, child. Hold up. Show me more of the family. Mm. What's the Ten of Pentacles? Show me the family. Yep, uh -uh, the Nine of Pentacles. And for some of you guys, this is somebody that tried. They tried to introduce this person to somebody else. Or this was their way of making it up to this person because they knew how much this person like liked you or something. What's the Ten of Pentacles? Mm. The, yes, honey. The Two of Pentacles sideways. And the, they said I have the whole deck upside down. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, the Seven of Cups. Yeah, but they... Now, they kind of bit the bait and then they kind of didn't because they kind of figured out what was going on. Oh, yeah, the hangman. Somebody, and they started feeling some kind of way. It's like, well, why would you introduce me to somebody else? If you cool with it and you feel better, then why can't I just be with this? It's like, they're, they're, somebody here is seeing, like, it's like they had an awakening. And it's like, this whole, this is all bullshit. Y'all are, like, contradicting y'all self. Y'all are not acting like the word. Or y'all are not acting like the spirit. Yep. Justice. Yeah. That's exactly what this is. Yep. And this is somebody. Now they've been making decisions and been reflecting on the decisions that they made. Child, let's look at this T. Forcer and fake flexing. They feel like these people was fake flexing on y'all. And they felt like they were either like force. If somebody here feels like this is like passive aggressive. But it put pressure for them to kind of like walk away from you or fall back from you or some shit like that is what I'm getting. You know, we are in a great awakening so it's like there's a lot of this, you know, going back and forth about like the spiritual community versus the religious community. Okay? So, um, this is like something that I think we're going to start seeing more frequently. This is the situation here. Oh, shit. Yep, bad reputation. I told you uninterested and bad habits child so someone here was saying bad things um putting like a dark cloud over you guys here and we have bankrupt yeah oh yeah 
And somebody here could was saying something about somebody um financially. They, there could have been some judgment around finances. I mean, they could have called, I don't know, like, you broke? Yeah, I told you, an offer. <laughs> so this person didn't make the offer they wanted to make you. We got forcer. And this could be also somebody here. Um, The force of court came right back out. And this could be also somebody here that wants to force an offer on you. They could, okay. So this could also be like family members making judgment. Like, you know, spiritual people, you know, they got bad habits of this. Some people do this, they do that. Or, you know, religious people, you know, they... So this is all that in this. And somebody here was judging you, calling you broke or some shit like that. We got running. I feel like somebody... Uh, you could be like... I feel like you could just be avoiding this. This could be overwhelming. obsessive lover this person's obsessed over you and it's like the more and more you just let go like all right cool i'm out there that's fine like i'm not gonna upset you with your family you you know whatever or something like that um the more and more it's like it proves something about you to you and they, it, they accept like you okay um someone here could also be like a jog a jogger or something like that so we have an offer and a dirty offer. I feel like someone here is going to try to like force something or force you in something. Yep, I told you kissing ass. They're going to try to kiss your ass or something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What else is going on here? What else is going on here? And this is and somebody here is having arguments like you pass judgment on this but you got this going on like you need to be worried about your own business ain't you went felt bankruptcy why you worried about me some shit like that yep thought this person is thinking of you a lot they are in their thoughts um and they're thinking about popping up and paying you a visit i told you they want to talk they want to have a conversation about love with you <laughs> that's it shit let's see what um they want to say they want to say someone here could ride a motorcycle or they could be into bikes or they know how to ride a motorcycle show me stop trying to control every damn thing i feel like you felt you could have tried to take your power back take control of the situation this person no longer wants you to do that it's like nah you know quit trying to um you could just be like you know, being a little bit, um, I feel like you standing on business. Don't let it all hang out. Somebody here is hoping that you are not like, you know, um, attracting the opposite sex, the opposite sex, you know, dating, doing things that would, um, make somebody want to talk to you going out. Someone here is like, this person is wishing and praying that you at home, um, with, with your, with your, uh, uh, old mother Hubbard clothes on and you ain't out looking good, being good. Um, you know, doing your thing, get hot and sweaty. I told you cause they want to, um, get hot and sweaty with you and we got deal with drama. They know y'all got some drama that y'all got to deal with, but someone here still feels like you're theirs. That's just what this is. Let's see their true emotions and feelings. Pop the question. This is somebody that still wants a relationship. They see you. This That's the thing. You're like marriage material to this person. That's why it's so important the family's opinion or some shit like that. Closing this cycle. And they want to close this ugly cycle. Yeah, that's how they see you. This This person has a lot of love for you. But they might have to stand up to their family. What's going on here? Backstabbed. Someone here feels like they got backstabbed. Yep, divine masculine in reverse by family. And then it's like soon as, the, you know, this could have fell back or they fell off from you. They're throwing other people in this person's face. Married. Cause this person wants to be with you. It's important for this family to either... Uh, it's like if you don't like her, don't like them, or you're going to respect them. Because this is somebody I can see myself with, and I want to see where this goes. I don't know. We y'all we fuck around and end up getting married. Yeah, yeah, because you're the queen bee. And this, and this person... Somebody here wants you to be the queen to their to their castle. 
that's just what this is. So whoever don't like it gonna have to kick rocks. You know we are in the era of truth. All right, we're in the new age, Aqua Aries, baby. It is what it is. So it's like this person sees you clear, clearly, though. And it, this person also sees the truth about, like, their family and their own flaws and shit like that. They could be, even be calling them out a lot. Revenge. Yup, and we have sin. I told you. Wrong decision. And they made a wrong decision by going against you. Now they want to talk. They could even be, like, talking to other people, trying to get advice. And this could be a cousin. They could have even went to a cousin or a cousin sat them down and, you know, maybe... You know, gave them some kind of support. Yeah, we got harmful destruction and poison. This turned poisonous between y'all. This is some kind of poison that happened to, more, to, to like fuck up the relationship. Flirt and seduction. This is somebody that are coming to flirt with you. This is somebody that's going to flirt a lot when you see each other or when y'all see each other or want to flirt a lot. They could be saying a lot of sweet things and shit like that. All right, guys. Let's see. Yeah, all right. All right, okay, let's jump back into this. Yep, see, the seven deadly sins. They, this is what this person is looking at. It's like, y'all go by this, but y'all sin every day. How are you going to try to call somebody out on their beliefs? You don't know that. This person wants another opportunity with you, all right? Somebody here has, is, I feel like, honestly, they, they, they are family stepping up to their family, even though it may have been a little late because you might have already been like, on your journey of like walking away from the situation but it's not going to stop them from coming towards you that's why they want to pop up on you and give you a visit and this could be something and, and i'm gonna tell you something and when this person pops up and give you a visit um here you need to understand they're going to be very flirtatious and seductive this could be somebody that's very uh slick with their words um and touchy with their hands yeah it's like you bring out their inner child y'all gonna be yup the two of cups right on the porch acting like two kids I'm hearing a lot of laughing and giggling. And somebody here is going to get touchy and filly with the flirt and seduction card there. I mean, this is somebody that kind of want to feel on your boobs. They could want to feel on your hips, feel on your ass. That's what she said. That's what I said, baby. What's the oracle message? What's the oracle message? Ooh. Mm. Well, we got uh, follow your intuition in reverse. This is someone that is realizing they didn't follow their intuition and, they're, and they want a new beginning. If this is somebody new, <clears throat> this is the situation that's going to happen. You're going to friend zone this person and then they're going to come and cheer you up because of this situation. All right. Um, yep, yeah, we have dreams. Um, this person dreams of you. You could be popping up in their dreams. Yep. Yeah. We got resilience. But I feel like now the tables is turning because you have become resistant because it's like, you know, it was kind of effed up. It's like, look, originality. This person knows that you're real. You're a real one. Yep. You're a unicorn child. You're a unicorn baby. Some of you guys could be even empaths or whatever. But it's like somebody's family is going to get with the program because this person loves you and they want to be with you. Somebody here got a, the, enough proof. I heard all the proof they need for uh, for their self. All the proof they need for their self. Yep, they want this partnership. Um, this person connects very well with bluebirds. Someone here could have had a bird as a pet as a child. It's this person's energy thinking about you, sending you messages, um, popping up in your dreams. Okay. What's the sign of the planets here? What's the sign of the... Oh, thank you. Hold on, child. We got Aqua Aries, what I tell you. It's the new world, baby. It's the new age. Collaboration. We have Jupiter here. Yeah. See, and this is... And for some of you guys, Jupiter also deals with fate and abundance. This is something that's going to go real big. All right, or you're going to be in a relationship with this person for a long time, and um, and this is also somebody here that um, you could also have gained favor from friends, but this is somebody here that's like, look, let's if we got to be friends first, you know, whatever, let's just do it. Cancerian energy, yeah, and someone's mom could be specific, and we have Scorpion. Someone's mother is also investigating you, or like investigating like. You know, what you're about, what you are into, you know, or something like that. Okay? Especially when it comes to different belief systems. And this could be a spiritual mom and you could be religious. 
Okay, so take it how it resonates because it can also be uh, vice versa. All right, guys, so this is it. You won this person over. They feel like they got what they need um, on you, and that's what it is. I love you all. Stay dope. We're going to shut it down right here. I hope this helps you out in more ways than one. Don't forget to hit that like button, guys. All right, please hit the like button, all right, because that will help with the algorithm and get the message out there, all right, that we need to get, our right, okay, guys, all right. Also, hit that bell. Hit all that keeps you tapped in, and you will be tuned in and notified when your messages are ready, and I will catch you the next time you stop by. I'll share